Morning guys, we have done quite a bit or a little bit using JGrasp this year. Um, JGrasp is not a fantastic um, development environment and um, we're going to move on from now to work with a development environment or RDE uh, that is more reflective of the environments that you will work in if you're actually in the workplace and doing programming in the workplace. Obviously, if you're going to be doing more deep level embedded software, you'll be working with a different type of environment. But in terms of programming, especially in, in Java, we're going to be using the NetBeans environment. And this screen that you see right here is the NetBeans IDE that you will first see when you open up NetBeans for the first time. It will always open up with a start page. Uh, on the start page, you'll see a whole lot of different uh, d things up here. You can click that off if you don't want to see it anymore. Then if that is checked off, then the startup page will not show again. I keep it showed because, keep it showing, uh, because all my recent projects appear over here. You will see later today we will look at output and that is something that I've started for you. But this is the NetBeans environment. There's a couple of panels that I want to talk to you about. Uh, first of all, the start page, I'm going to close it now. This panel over here is your coding panel. And at the moment, it's grayed out because we don't have any programs, any projects that are open. Okay, here is an output display or an, uh, what we call the console display or console output. And that is where uh, some of your uh, display can go. And we'll talk about that during our lesson later. Once we actually start projects, you will see a tree diagram of your project that appears here. And again, we will talk about that during the lesson later. Uh, we will also see some components that get shown down here. And those components will grow and develop as we go through the course and we start developing graphic uh, interfaces. So we have, like most software packages, we have a whole string of menu items at the top over there. Most of them we will not be using at this stage. Uh, we also have a whole lot of different icon menus. So this is very similar to what you would see in a normal software package. So this is the basic environment that we're going to be working in. Okay, And let's see what it looks like when we actually start up a project. So to be able to start a project, we need to use the file menu. So in the file menu, we will select new project. And this process is the same process that we're going to use at least until um, halfway through the course next year. So we're going to make sure that Java is selected and it's a Java application. And we just click next. We don't need to do anything else on this page. Generally, that's what comes up by default. So we can mostly just check, do a quick check, and then click on the next button. Here is where we actually get to naming our project. Now, projects and um, programs in general will make a little bit more sense once we've actually done the lesson a little bit later today. But for now, um, this is all very new and very different compared to JGrasp, where you would just go File, New, and select the Java class. Okay, so um, I'm just going to name this one Demo. And you'll see over here, as I'm typing Demo over there, this is ticked on, so create the main class. Now what that means is that this program that we or this project that we're going to be doing uh, designing is going to have a main class that is going to be the one that is the executable class or the executable program 
And again, this will make sense after our lesson today. This is the project location, and you can browse and change that. I keep it standard. All of mine gets saved onto my C drive. Obviously, um, you guys can change that. I could change that if I wanted. If we click on browse, then my whole uh, drives come up, and I can select where I actually want to um, save my programs or my projects that I'm busy working on. Right, after making sure that we've given the project the name, given the project the destination where it's going to be saved, uh, later on in the course, much later on in the course, we will be clicking this off, um, but for good reason. For now, make sure that that's always checked on. Then you will just click on finish. NetBeans creates your new project, and while it's creating your new, new project, it brings up all of these parts automatically. Okay, so we've learned about comments already and how to make comments or insert comics, comments into our program. Uh, these comments are default, so I like to get rid of all of those because that's quite meaningless. You'll see now that it starts off as package demo. Okay, so my whole package, my program, or my software package is called demo. Okay, um, inside of here we'll see what we used to start off with in uh, JGrasp, and that is that public class demo. Again, NetBeans starts with the curly brackets on the side there. I like to change it. And then again, I remove all of this. It's unnecessary for the time being. Okay, and again, this we've seen. In fact, we've typed this up ourselves in JGrasp. Public static void main string square bracket arges. That we've had to type up ourselves in JGrasp up until this point. From now on, the minute we start a new package or the new project, that automatically comes in there. Again, if I had checked off that thing create main class, then that highlighted text would not appear in the actual program that I've created. Right. So that's just a demo as to what happens when we do create a project and how we go about creating a new project in NetBeans. Just a couple of other things. Remember I said this is your coding panel and this is where you will do all your coding. This is a console output and that's where some of your output will go. We'll talk about that a little bit later. This is your navigator and as we build in things over here over the course, uh, you will see that extra parts get attached to that. This is the actual uh, tree diagram that I mentioned to you and spoke to you about. If you click on that plus sign over there, it shows you what's actually in it. And then you click on the plus sign by source packages, you'll see that demo appears. And you'll notice that my project name is demo with a capital D, but my package is demo with a small d. And that's where everything's been packaged in here. Okay, and there's my class called demo and I can add other parts to this and we will look at those as we go all right so that's just a very brief introduction to the um, NetBeans environment it is very different to the JGrasp environment it's a little bit more detailed a lot more that we can do with this environment but we will discover some of those things that can be done as we go through the course um, from now until the end. Um, for now, guys, that's all you need to know in terms of the NetBeans environment. It is a far more representative environment of what you will be exposed to in the workplace one day. Um, so go through 
this video maybe a number of times. Uh, use it to be able to um, acquaint yourself on how to actually create a new project. The Java, although the environment looks very, very different, the Java coding is not different at all. It's still the same language. We're still going to be using the same um, methods and words and reserved words and processes that we've learned so far, and we will carry on using those as we go. We're going to be looking at um, an output project, and maybe I can just open that one for you quickly. Um, right, so that's the project we're going to be looking at um, a little bit later today. So you won't have that with you, um, but we will build it as we go, and I will talk about the different parts as we work through it. So that's it for now. I'm going to...